Um, I definitely want to echo what, what Peter is saying. I think that the, the way that health technology assessments are, are currently run inside the United States or even outside do not fairly uh, understand what a patient goes through on a daily basis, right? Uh, the drug that I take, the drug that changed my life, Trikafta, still not available in Canada, still not available in Australia. But what it did for me is so substantial that it's hard for me to articulate, right? When I graduated college in 2013, I was planning to go to law school. That was what I wanted to do. And no offense to, to the attorney here, I can't believe I actually wanted to do that. <laughs> but my cystic fibrosis took that from me, right? I was so unbelievably sick that getting from the bedroom to the bathroom in the morning was a success if I could do it. I was in and out of the hospital. I was in and out of interventional radiology. I was in and out of any single encounter that you can possibly imagine. That's what my life was, looked like. Three pills every single day since 2018, middle of 2018, has given me an MBA. It has given me a marriage. It has allowed me to expect a child later this, later this, this year. I, I, that is not currently calculated in any health technology assessment. And if I lived outside the United States, if I lived in Canada, if I lived in Australia, I would not have those gains. I would be dealing with a delay that is costly when it comes to progressive illness. That is what I would live with, right? And for me, I think it is fair to say, to echo what Peter is saying, that I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the health technology assessment if and only if it can adequately value my life and the things that I have experienced, right? Three pills every single day for a few years have given me so much more than I was allowed to or, or, or benefiting from before then. That is the truth.